I thought you were going to go with this one, so I'll throw it out there now since we're 51 minutes into the show. What the hell is going on with Precious Achua? It's a great question. I mean, we've heard very little reporting on his deal. My estimation is he at this point he probably ends up back in New York. Yep. Just because their their front court options are limited depending on you know, what they do with trades and whatnot from here on out. I don't feel super confident in Precious as a shooter. And part of my issue with him as a Sixers fit is that Drummond is the guy as the, the backup to Joel. Presumably you want to get Bona some developmental time if Joel's out for whatever reason. So he's not going to get a lot of minutes at center. And I just don't trust the shot enough for him to play regular forward minutes. But on just like a best player available talent level – I think he's certainly one of the best guys left. And if you want to try to, yeah, he's got, I don't know if it's a good one. I don't have a feel for it the same way I did from, for Siakam and OG and Trent and some of these other guys, but he's someone with some front front court flexibility, good rebounder relative to his size, right? I think he averaged like seven rebounds a game in limited minutes for the Knicks end of the year. So if you put him on the floor and he's able to actually play minutes with another big, that be it. That would fit the mold of the player that I think people are talking about. But he is a shooter theoretically only, right? I think he's a 30, 31 percent career shooter, and even that probably overestimates how good he's been there from this point. If he could simply hit corner threes or above the break threes, that'd be a, a big breakthrough for him. But yeah, I think it, because we're talking about minimum guys and end of the roster, if you can somehow convince him then sure. I just think he's going to want more time. He probably wants the ability to play both front court spots, which I don't believe is really going to be available to him here. And can you get a guy who maybe fits in more lineups? I think so. Like the Haywards That's of the world question. that you can, yeah. they already have all these guys that are, so the small guards, right? And then if you have congestion in the the front court, like all oh, these guys are, we're just mashing them together. You can end up running into a lot of, roster issues okay but someone to keep an eye on yeah he is he is and i wonder what he would look like in a lineup with the big at the four spot he's at the four but with more shooters around him Mm -hmm. at the one two and the three 